Our first order of business is something brand new for the Hall of Fame, not just being here, but a new award that signals, singles out the Sports Person of the Year Award. And our new award is named after Steve Gubak. It is the Steve Gubak Sports Person of the Year Award. It recognizes an athlete, coach, team, administrator, or any individual who supports athletics and has distinguished themselves through outstanding athletic achievement during the 2023 calendar year. The award is in honor of 2005 Virginia Sports Hall of Fame inductee Steve Gubak, who spent over 70 years in sports journalism. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for the inaugural recipient of the Hall of Fame's Steve Gubak Sports Person of the Year Award. The inaugural Steve Gubak Sports Person of the Year Award doesn't go to an individual, it goes to an entire franchise. The Norfolk Tides had one of the best seasons ever in 2023, not just in their history, but in baseball history. Beneficiaries of one of the best farm systems in baseball, the Tides stormed to a first half championship in the International League with a 48 and 26 record, cementing their first playoff appearance in nearly a decade. Norfolk finished last year with a franchise record 90 wins and a plus 152 run differential before beating the Durham Bulls in three games to win their first IL title since 1985. Next up was a showdown with the Oklahoma City Dodgers, winners of the Pacific Coast League title for the AAA National Championship. Their 7-6 win in the clinching game secured their first ever national title. Manager Buck Britton was the IL Manager of the Year, and they were named Team of the Year by Baseball America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the General Manager of the Norfolk Tides, Mr. Joe Gregory. Thank you very much, um, Will, Marty, and the board. I appreciate this recognition. Uh, Dennis, thanks for hosting. Um, it's good to see a lot of familiar faces here and uh, making the drive up from Hampton Roads for the first time that it wasn't in Hampton Roads. It's uh, definitely well worth the trip. Um, there's a lot of people to thank for this, uh, starting in Baltimore with Mike Elias, the general manager of the Orioles, Buck Britton, who we saw in Manager of the Year, so many great players like Jackson Holiday, who just got called up to the majors, the number one prospect in baseball. We've been fortunate to have a lot of great talent come through Norfolk with a lot of wins on the field. And as much as the support was there on the field, off the field, I uh, couldn't do it without the amazing staff behind the scenes. I'm fortunate that Mike Watkins, my assistant general manager, is here. And um, Mike, I couldn't do it without you. Um, and also the families behind the scenes uh, with Maureen and Christina. Thank you for taking care of everything at home while we take care of things at the ballpark. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> And it was a great year for wins. Uh, as mentioned, it was uh, perhaps the greatest year in baseball. Uh, I know Parney might want to disagree with uh, ever, but uh, at least in Hampton Roads, it was uh, the best year we had in quite some time. And the wins are nice, but I think the nice thing about minor league baseball is the wins aren't necessarily always measured by how many runs you score. I think it's about the impact you make in the community and the wins you make with charitable donations, those military community members, having those surprise return home from deployments and what we could do in the local school system. Those are the wins that I think are important. And while we were fortunate enough to have this recognition this year, there's teams in Salem, in Lynchburg, in Fredericksburg, and here in Parney and Richmond that are having big wins throughout the year that we may get this recognition tonight, but the impact that are being made throughout the state are phenomenal. So I want to thank you once again for recognizing the tides and look forward to uh, being here tonight with all the inductees and I uh, want to congratulate all the inductees. But uh, thank you for keeping us part of this and um, hopefully we get to come back and do it again sometime. Thank you.